This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! If you're looking for reasons why the San Francisco 49ers have been one of the best teams in the NFC over the last five years, including two trips to the Super Bowl, tight end George Kittle should be at the top of the list. Kittle, with his athletic ability, physical presence, and playmaking skills, has been one of the team's main pillars. Since his arrival, he has stood out not only as a reliable target for the 49ers quarterbacks, but also as an exceptional blocker, significantly contributing to the team's offensive success. However, if you're looking for reasons why the 49ers haven't been able to overcome the final hurdle and win the sixth Super Bowl in the franchise's history, Kittle's disappearing acts in the postseason should also be considered. Despite his dominant performances in the regular season, Kittle has struggled to maintain the same level of production in the playoffs. This was evident in 2023 when he had just eight receptions for 112 yards and one touchdown in three postseason games, a performance below expectations for a player of his caliber. One of the factors contributing to this drop in performance was an abdominal muscle injury that Kittle suffered, which required surgery following the loss to the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 58. This injury significantly affected his ability to play at a high level and perform his crucial role in the 49ers offense. Kittle signed a five-year, $75 million contract in 2020, making him the highest-paid tight end in the NFL at the time. He is under contract with the 49ers through the 2025 season, when he will be 32 years old. The 49ers' rise to their status as one of the top teams in the NFC has mirrored Kittle's rise to his status as one of the elite tight ends in the league. In his seven seasons, the 49ers have made the playoffs four times, reflecting Kittle's importance to the team. Selected in the fifth round of the 2017 draft, 146th overall pick, Kittle quickly became a fundamental piece of the 49ers' offense. He helped lead the team to the Super Bowl following the 2019 season, which also ended in a loss to the Chiefs. During that campaign, Kittle again had a disappointing playoff performance, with only eight receptions for 71 yards in three games, in contrast to his impressive 85 receptions for 1,053 yards and five touchdowns in the 2019 regular season. With Brandon Ayuk already sitting out OTAs and Kittle also missing them while recovering from surgery, these workouts represent an excellent opportunity for secondary weapons like rookie Ricky Pearsall and newly signed Jawan Jennings to get more reps with the first-team offense. This additional time on the field can be crucial for the development of these players and the depth of the roster, especially considering the importance of having reliable options on offense during the long and grueling NFL season. The 49ers hope that, with Kittle healthy and other key pieces ready to contribute, they can finally overcome the difficulties of previous years and win the long-sought sixth Super Bowl title. Kittle's ability to return to his elite form after surgery will be a determining factor for the team's aspirations in the upcoming season. The San Francisco 49ers continue to restock and bolster their offense by re-signing wide receiver Jawan Jennings to a two-year, $15.4 million contract extension. Jennings, who was on the fast track to being Super Bowl MVP, had the 49ers held on against the Kansas City Chiefs, slots in as the 49ers' current WR3, likely competing with rookie Ricky Pearsall for snaps this upcoming year. Jennings' contract also makes it unlikely the Niners will keep both wideouts, Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel, on the roster next year. Ayuk is reportedly looking to be at the top of the WR contract pecking order, and Debo's contract has an escape clause after this year. With Jennings signing, it becomes clear that the 49ers have probably made a decision regarding quarterback Brock Purdy's second contract. Jennings' contract is only a two-year deal, which gives San Francisco a lot of flexibility as Purdy's inevitable monster extension looms. By keeping Jennings in the fold and drafting several young receivers and more offensive weapons, the 49ers seem to have decided to retool their roster to build around the third-year signal caller and his eventual massive contract extension. 
Having cost-controlled play from receivers like Pearsall and Jacob Cowing will allow the Niners to manage the likely $50 million plus it will take to keep Purdy in the red and gold. Signing Jennings for two years instead of one allows the 49ers to maintain a three-receiver core even when one of the star receivers is likely let go. The Niners shopping both Ayak and Samuel demonstrates how they have already begun preparing the books for Purdy's new extension. San Francisco loading up on receivers is also a sign that head coach Kyle Shanahan may start building around Purdy schematically. Jennings is a fantastic situational receiver, but the 49ers played 11 personnel, three wide receivers, only 41% of the time, ranking fifth lowest in the NFL last year. The slot receiver for the 49ers is an important but not truly valuable position, making Jennings' new contract a bit of a luxury. However, the Niners have shown a willingness to throw more with Purdy, and with the increase in weapons in the passing game, it seems the Niners have begun to trust Purdy more to lead them in all situations by tailoring their offensive weaponry to their quarterback. Overall, the 49ers' offseason approach seems to indicate they have decided to double down on the former Mr. Irrelevant to lead them for a long time. Whether or not this was the right approach remains to be seen. Now it's your time to interact with us, leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.